I've got some more stuff from Malbec. Let me show you what I purchased this time. Even I don't bloody well know. It could be anything. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Let's see what's in here. Okay, these are some MacBook parts. I've got a MacBook which has got a bad battery indicator on it. It's actually shorted out and it's killing the computer when it's plugged in. So it can happen, it's got liquid damage. So I've purchased some more. These are obviously all used ones, so you know, pulled out of other computers. But usually it doesn't matter, and at least you know you've got an original part, which should be good quality, as long as it's not damaged. So I've got things five in there, so don't worry about those anymore. That should be plenty. What's in here? Uh, well, when do I get into it? How do you want to completely wrap in tape? Because you just can't see where you're supposed to cut. I don't think that's the right place. Oh, maybe it is. And <laughs> it's some more battery charge indicators. What a coincidence. Um, there you go. So they're different computer ones. I think these might be 15, these ones might be 30 inch. I'm not sure. Something like that anyway. Yeah. I'm not going about those. You got the idea from the first lot. Yeah. What's this one? I hope it's not a MacBook part. I want to show you guys something else. <laughs> Ah, right. Okay, something slightly more interesting. This is a UV torch. Supposed to be quite a powerful one. Um, yeah, no battery. But that's not unsurprising. I already have a UV torch, but it doesn't seem to be very strong. Anyway, I think this is like a UV laser. Yeah, don't look directly at the, at the output. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's get closer. So I don't look directly at the UV, this is a UV laser. Now the torch I've got, it works, but it takes a few minutes to actually solidify any UV adhesive or UV solder mask that I put onto balls when I'm doing repairs. And you can see this is supposed to be a 10 watt laser. So it should be a bit stronger and it takes an 18650. So I chose that so I've got some 18650s around and I've got a spare ones. So let's, let's power this up, let's get a battery. Okay, I put a battery in it, let's chuck some UV mask on here. Get, get some out of here, maybe a little bit, without squeezing it, uh, got to squeeze it, something, <laughs> it's a plunger, there you go, there's heaps out there, right. heaps there, way more than I ever use, mine go, that's fine, let's give it a go, let's see how quickly this goes off, I'm hoping it's better than the other one I'm using, using. Can you see that stuff fluorescing? Anyway, we'll see. Let's just hold on there for a couple of minutes, or a minute. So I want to see how quickly this goes. Let's get some tweezers of some kind. That's already starting to go off. That's pretty damn quick. Excellent. It's already hard. See that? It's already hard. See, it's already skinning. Now push it out because obviously, because it's so thick, it's a bit much. So I'm just looking at this through the camera. Instead of directly at it, because that's obviously a bit safer. You should use some kind of UV protection if you're using UV lights. Um, but yeah, this is already doing much better than the other torch I've got. The other torch does work, but um, this is definitely doing much better. I mean, that's skinned already, like a solid there. You know, that's working great. The other one will take, in that kind of volume, it'll probably take five minutes to do the same effect to the other torch. So this is definitely a lot more powerful. So that's a huge, huge improvement. Obviously, because you've got 
skinning you're going to get the stuff which underneath which doesn't quite sit straight away but yeah that's working fine I'm happy with that your links down below for this but say it's both they call it a laser I'm not sure it actually is a laser I'm pretty sure it's just a torch can I unscrew this and have a look what is into the battery <laughs> um, yeah I can't really see much from that I have to probably unscrew the insides I don't want to do that but yeah excellent more power I always need more power more power mm. okay what's this Oh, I've got a horrible feeling it's another MacBook board. I really do think that's what it is. This is a bit of a, bit of a flop, isn't it? It's just MacBook stuff all the time. It's not very good. Yeah, it's another MacBook board. Oh, man. I'm going to have to find something else to show in this video. This is, like, ridiculous. Yeah, but the same as the other one as well. The 3300. Whatever the hell it is. Let's try and cut into this bloody thing without destroying the board. And what's this? Oh, it's got a. Oh, look at that. I mean, how nice. This is unusual. I was thinking, why are they cling wrapped a little Ziploc bag on here? Well, it's because there's a stencil in here. They included an SMC stencil. How nice of them. And odd, but nice. Okay, let's just cut this off. There's a coil to fall off. That's okay. Um, Yeah, so SMC stencil. I mean, well, the SMC is still there. So, yeah, excellent. That's, well, I wasn't expecting that. Cool. Well, seeing as it's been a whole bunch of MacBook stuff, let's do something better, shall we? Hopefully, I, this isn't going to be a Mac thing, the size of this, this isn't going to be a MacBook. Sounds awfully really rattly, it's almost concerning. Alright. So, that's some brackets floating around, a couple of angle brackets, wiring loom stuff, relay, and it's a big LED light. So, what is on my car, I've got some spotlights on the bottom of it and big glass and the um, they've been hit by stones and broken right and they've been broken for a little while but they finally noticed them or weren't so I thought right, if I'm going to have to replace them it's going to cost about like $400 to get some equivalent sort of spotlights these days they're quite expensive because they're really small and compact to fit in the space so right, well, well I'll get one of these things so I inquired about legality of this with uh, my local garage and I said well it's a work light so as long as it isn't on with high beam um, it's fine. Apparently now the regulations allow so you can actually do you can have a light fitted but not working and that's acceptable. If it doesn't work it's acceptable rather than it used to be if it's a light fitted it has to work. If it's an accessory light it doesn't have to work apparently. So um, that's what I was told. So this is a big LED light. Now I think this was, uh, I don't know which, let's see what size it is. Doesn't say which version it is. But this was a fairly high wattage. <laughs> and you see it's just a whole bunch of LEDs. So you got, this end has got some like flood lamp LEDs. It's like a flood section and these will be the main focused beam. Right, so this is like the spot and that's the flood. Now I really only want this spot but they all seem to be combination light and I thought well yeah a bit of floods probably not be a problem anyway 
So I thought I'd go over this one, it's fairly compact, it'll fit where all my existing spotlights are. I just have to make some kind of bracket up for it and it should be pretty good. And it's supposed to run up to like 24 volts anyway, so it's a 12 volt car, so it doesn't matter. So I might just quickly power this up and give it a quick go. Alright, well that's current limiting. One amp. I'm just touching on, a, on the power supply. And there you can see these ones are focused and those ones are flood. You can see that there. So if I uh, increase my current limiting here, that is now doing 5 amps and I'm running out of power. So, yep, yeah, that's definitely pretty bright, alright. <laughs> yeah, and that's still current limiting at 5 amps. So that's fine. Um, it's going to do what I want at least. Yay. I've just got to put the thing on there, it's going to be fun. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the bell icon and the subscription thing and and watch the videos and check out the playlist I've got as well and other repairs and things like that. It's not just a mailbag I do, it's all these other things I do as well. This is just one small part of it. And um, if you don't click the bell icon, you won't get notified about videos as I release them and you'll miss out on a lot of things that I do. So make sure you have that click to get notifications. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.